This is the home of the talk show audience. And here, in amongst the herd, we find the mighty Alpha Male. He spent the last hour drinking at the watering hole. And soon, he'll be looking for a suitable mate. Now, the audience starts to respond as he utters his characteristic cry. Let's start the show! Gosh, the crazy thing. I did not know this till this afternoon, uh, that your association with iTunes goes back quite a long way. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, you know at the bottom in your iTunes, there's those little symbols, like there's music, there's artists, there's more, whatever. The symbol for artists, yeah. that's Bono. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was gonna say, you look like you've got the biggest Adam's apple in the whole world. <laughs> I think they just needed a big head uh, for a little <laughs> small symbol. I mean. uh, now, I don't want to pause the fight, but I think most people, when they, you know, see you two, we think of it sort of as Bono's band. I dare I've said it. Not the but, band. No, but it's not. It's Larry's band. True. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So when did you, like, when did he take over? <laughs> I'm assuming he has. <laughs> oh, he about, has. Well, about <laughs> five minutes after I thought I'd taken over. <laughs> um, so we, really, uh, immediately? Uh, yeah, we, we, we had our first rehearsal in, uh, in my kitchen. And sort of, we, everybody arrived, you know, those uh, Adam, Edge, Edge's brother, um, um, the McCormick brothers oh. arrived, yes. Um, and there, there were a couple of people there. And then Bono arrived late. And it was just obvious within a few minutes that he was not going to be carrying amps. He was not going to be carrying amps. He wasn't going to be messing with technology. He was just going to be in charge, and I was fired. That is, that, that's least, actually not true. I, the only job they give the singer is if you can't do anything else. I couldn't play. You, couldn't, you know, it's one of those. So they said, you know, they said, be a manager. And Adam said, no, I think I could be the manager. So I got to be the singer. And, um, but it's, there's four bosses in, in U2. And we all share everything and have done. We still have the same crew. Joe Hurley, who mixed the sound out now here tonight, is he makes this from our sixth gig. So it's a community of That's people incredible. that we've kind of, our music has come out of and stretches right down to Cork. Asher now. Uh, <laughs> That's a long way, way from where yeah. you're sitting. <laughs> but not a long way from there. Because when they started, when you two started, because look at them now, mm. you know, global superstars. This is uh, near the beginning, what they look like. Now, <laughs> I think this was during the great conditioner shortage in Ireland. <laughs> 1980. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 there's a better one. There's a better one. So, like, <laughs> some of the publicity shots, the early publicity shots, I mean, it really does not suggest that success is in your future. Right. <laughs> uh, check this out. Like, how did they become successful? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know, I am not just a sex object. <laughs> I am a human person. I have feelings. And I will not be treated like this. I love the rest of you. The rest is so bored. <laughs> and, and daytime telly on in the background. Yeah. That's what daytime telly used to be, ladies and gentlemen. Flowers is a nice idea. Flowers would be a nice idea. As a homosexual, I'm ashamed. Yes, you should be. As a gay man, this set sucks. As a gay man, <laughs> I would accept this from a straight man and not say a word. As a gay man, this is unconscionable. <laughs> Who else have I got here? Uh, New York jockey man, and proud of it. Uh, he wears them, this is nice to know, he wears them every day in bed. <laughs> With vest tucked firmly inside. Uh, oh, he likes, 
he likes to freshen up underpants uh, that have enjoyed several days' use. <laughs> With my eager mouth and tongue. <laughs> That's Bernard. We could talk to him. <laughs> what the hell? Um, Bernard, huh? Bernard. His parents were obviously a little bit posh, and now look what's happened. <laughs> He's sucking old pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought I had a dead dog in my hands. Hello? Hello, is that Bernard? Uh, yes, it is. Oh, hello, Bernard. Uh, I got your uh, number off Brief Boy's site. Yes? Yeah. I like pants as well. <laughs> yes? What pants are you wearing right now, Bernard? Who is this? My name's Graham. Well, where, where are you? Me? I'm calling from London right now. You said call to talk about pants. Are you the, sorry? I maybe I've got the wrong number. Are you the person who, who fre refreshes pants? Um. Well, it's a little difficult to me, for me to talk about that right now. <laughs> um, are you with some pants now? <laughs> what is the what's the noise? Oh, I'm sorry. I've it, I've got neighbours and they've got television. <laughs> what's the TV? TV's on. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It distracts me. Oh. Okay. Do you, have you so, had many calls from people talking about pants? Well, usually at home, not at work. I'm at work right now. <laughs> can, you turn, can, can you turn the TV down? I can't hear you. So, sorry, it's, it's just such crap. Um, this, Bernard, should I let you get on with work? Well, uh, are you going? Would you call back? <laughs> of course I will. Yeah. What? What? What are you wearing? What kind of underwear do you like? I like clean pants. <laughs> what are you wearing right now? Briefs. I always wear briefs. You just the briefs. Yes, white front, white. Okay. And do do you see other people's briefs at work? Oh yeah. Do they show them to you? No, you can you can check them out when they're at the coffee machine. <laughs> and do they know you're looking at their pants? No, of course not. And would you have a crafty fiddle under the desk, Bernard? <laughs> of course. <laughs> That's great. And um, listen, I must Isn't let you get on. You don't, you don't do that? What, wank at work? <laughs> I'd be taken off the air, Bernard. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Bye, Bernard. Bye. 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 Whoa. Hmm. <laughs> Poor doggy phone. Oh, sniffer dog. <laughs> Do you, do you still find yourself instinctively doing that? Or yes, I do. And I've, if you notice, I now I sit, I sit rather like the Queen with my feet always like this, crossed ankles. Well, I'll tell you why, girls. If you sit like this, look, cameras can see this. If you sit like that, that looks sort of fairly OK. If you get this fat thigh and go like that, the camera just... <laughs> <laughs> Educational. <laughs> now, is it true, um, John, that your mom shoot that she was a Playboy bunny? Correct. Yeah. Was she? Yeah. One of the first, and just in the oh, club. They're all impressed. Yeah. In the club in New York in uh, their waists, 1961. Their bunny costumes. Their waists were fat. Yeah. They? Yeah. Yeah. Classic old pictures. So, yeah. were your, was your mom like the mother that your school friends liked? <laughs> I don't, I, no, I, she's a very good-looking lady, but uh, she was, uh, I was already born. I mean, it was after that, so it's like 63 or so. But um, she was also a, a, a Marine. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like younger men? What's the matter? 
Little hot, little hot. No, it's, it was pretty cool. Um, she was also a, a Marine, a United States Marine, so... <laughs> talk about that juxtaposition. She must be, like, in one of those Venn diagrams, she must be, like, alone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Playboy bunnies, right. Marines, yeah. there's only the one. So, <laughs> your mom. Yeah, pretty diverse little background that built me. Uh, this will just go to the very quick. Nights, where is it called? A night to remember. Male escorts for women. Oh, right. Here okay. we go. We're going to phone them. You, you I book? have Visa and Master, so I can get... <laughs> <laughs> So, you are guests. It's our treat. Oh, you just say that now, Graham. No, but reading the descriptions, it always right. worries me. It always worries me because you get things like swimmer's body. Yes. Now, that covers a multitude, doesn't it? They can be, they can be covered with scales. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what you get. And something very bad's happened in this country now in personal ads. And you, you won't understand that they, they will. The idea of a lot of people putting their personal ads now, uh, Grant Mitchell lookalike. And you do think, Grant Mitchell, yes, he's very sexy, but there is a bit of a thin line between Grant Mitchell and fat, bald man. <laughs> and most people have crossed it. <laughs> in my experience. <laughs> right, so we're phoning Knights to Remember now. Right. Um, uh, because they're based in London, <laughs> right, so the idea is we'll get some old whore over here by the end of the show. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, hopefully, this phone is no indication of what you'll get. <laughs> Good evening, Paula speaking. Oh, hello, uh, Paula. I, I'm ringing w with a, an odd request. I'm looking for uh, an escort for uh, a friend of mine. Uh, she's visiting London and she requires some companionship. Uh, but the thing is, it's, a, it's a, not an emergency, obviously. I mean, she doesn't desperately need one, but, uh, <laughs> but, but needs one this evening. Can you do that? Oh, yes, yes, we can supply any number this evening, I should imagine, yes. So if you could um, just give me a description, a brief description of your friend, I'll see what we've got. Uh, well, I, I, she's very alive. glamorous. Alive. Alive. Oh, right, she's lady, keen to stress right. that. <laughs> um, why is my voice echoing? What? I recognise... Do I recognise your voice? Um... You might do. Hello, Graham Norton. You know... <laughs> it's cheap, isn't it? <laughs> is this a serious request? No, it is a serious question. I'll, I'll tell you now, uh, to cut to the chase, uh, my, the person who wants this is uh, Miss Joan Rivers. No. <laughs> oh, my auntie loves her. She thinks she's just the best. Paula, it's oh. lonely in the middle. <laughs> so, my it's a lonely life. I go home from this glamorous show, back to a hotel room, alone, Paula. Is that what you want? No. <laughs> Have I ever made you laugh, Paula? Have I ever... <laughs> Find me so, someone yes, blind yes, <laughs> so I can minutes. leave the lights on. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, ser no, seriously, Paula, we mm -hmm. are, we are actually, actually, look, I'll tell you what I want. Get a foreign. Yeah. In the end of the show, at the end of the show, I'd like three. Right. I, very I... certain I can sort that out. For Joan, anything. Oh. Paula, Paula, you do this, you look this weekend on QVC and pick out one piece of jewellery that you like and I will send it to you as a gift. <gasps> Thank you very, very much. Under 30 pounds, bitch. <laughs> Paula. Well, okay. listen, uh, you stay in the line. I'm going to hang up here, right. okay? okay? But if you stay in the line, you can talk to someone okay, and, and they'll give you the, the address, address where everything. to send the guys and everything. Mm -hmm. Lovely. All right. Nice She's very kind about this. Thank you, Paula. Bye. Okay, bye. Is that oh, sweet? what a nice woman, Paula. Yeah. That is brilliant. <laughs> but, so, ooh, now, now I'm being told that it's all true. Joan, much excitement. Your escorts have arrived. Paula was true to her word, so let's meet the escorts. Here they come. <laughs> I feel dirty. Uh, which escort is which? So, Joan and George, let's find out now as we play Guess the Escort. Oh. 
come with me. Over here. Uh, now, we have our three escorts here. Paul has done us proud, if a little cheap. Um, <laughs> right, now, Neil, Neil up there, the very, very poor, cheap person, uh, he stands to win a sizable prize if he correctly puts the descriptions that Paul has sent us, the way they're described on the site, right? If you match them correctly with the, with the escorts. But everyone will help you, the audience will help you, won't you, audience? Yes! I have to say, it's like a festival of cologne over here. It's very good. <laughs> <laughs> People pay them! <laughs> Paid tonight, I hope, for showing up here. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Because BBC is notoriously cheap. cheap. <laughs> but we're Channel 4, and sky's the limit here. <laughs> right, right. Neil, Neil, all right, here's the first one. So, A, B, or C. First one we're looking for is James, right? James is 25, <laughs> and we're told here, as Hugh Grant, good looks. Uh, is well educated and clean. Uh, so, so, but uh, now, so audience, uh, you got good looks. Twenty-five. James, well educated and clean. Who do you think it is? A, B, or C? E. In, in the middle, of course. Oh. He's got that kind of college boy sort of look, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> it's a stretch of the imagination that any of them could be described as having you <laughs> no. grant good looks. Oh, <laughs> right, 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 right. So, uh, so who do you think it is? B. B. They say B. Neil. B, definitely. B. Yeah. Okay. B. Are you James? He's James! Well okay, next up, next up, we have Pete. Pete has a swimmer's body. Well, now we know that <laughs> that could be anything. Rugged good looks and interests include fast bikes and fine dining. Hey. Where's the swimmer's body? No, you fool. We discussed the fallacy of swimmer's body earlier. <laughs> God, take lumps of wood float. <laughs> um, and all I'm saying to you is, I think there's a clue in fine dining. Oh. No, no, the clue's in fine dining. Fine dining. Eating, eating. Who eats most? C. It's C. 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 Well, it's only two. The choices. experts have said C. What do you C. think? It's A or C? A. C. You're saying yeah, C. C. Oh, let's just see if you're right. <laughs> uh, C, are you Pete? Yeah. Yes, he is. Oh, oh, now. Right now, right now, you see, Neil is thinking, this game is a piece of piss. <laughs> There's only A left. It's bound to be. But no, what we've done here is we've got two descriptions, and you've got to say which one is A, OK? So is A Gary? Toned Latino lovely, <laughs> nine and a half inches on cut, <laughs> good conversationalist. <laughs> Mind you, you'd have to talk a lot because you wouldn't be, would you? <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or is he Marco, Marco, well endowed Spanish heartthrob? <laughs> Interests include boxing and travel. Why? <laughs> I'm neither seem that likely to me, but there you go, here's one of them. He looks more like a who, Gary. Who do you think it is? Do you think it looks more like a Gary? There's a lot riding on this now. You might be riding on it later, I don't know. But, uh, <laughs> uh, Neil, is it Gary? <laughs> or Marco? <laughs> Gary. Do you think it's Gary? I think it is. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> Are you Gary or Marco? He's Gary! a pile of shitty old clothes, <laughs> but much excitement because you've now got a thousand pounds to spend on clothes with our friends at DressSmart.com. Well done, Neil. Congratulations. All right. Bye-bye. Love -bye. you, Neil. Gay, gay men did love Wonder Woman, and there was a, there's a guy who works on the show, Cameron, who's having a bit, of, a bit of light on his feet, and, <laughs> um, and he was saying that watching Wonder Woman, he knew that he was gay because when you did the transformation, the twirl from Diana into, into Wonder Woman, he used to get really upset as a child that you'd thrown away your handbag. <laughs>
signs are out there. <laughs> but the award-winning one, the award winner is this guy, Aaron. He's Tulsa's Wonder Woman. And he is a professional <laughs> Wonder Woman impersonator. Thing it's is, amazing. I, 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 they're alive and out there. I don't know what to say. <laughs> well, we could say hello, because, um... We, <laughs> because... Now, here's Aaron, we hope. He doesn't know you're here, by the way. So imagine little Oklahoma squeals of delight. You're calling him in Oklahoma? Or is... Uh, whatever that is. Hello? Oh, hello, is that Aaron? Yes. Oh, well, no, my name's Graham Norton, and uh, we, we were emailing you about, about your f fantastic Wonder Woman uh, outfit. Oh, that was you? Yes, yes, it oh. was. Okay. No, because I saw the picture, and it's just brilliant. Did you make that outfit yourself? Uh, yes, I did. I sure did for uh, some of my shows that I do. So you are an absolute Wonder Woman freak, it sounds like. You really like Wonder Woman. Oh, I love it. I have a house full of memorabilia. Oh, like what sort of stuff do you have? Oh, geez, I have probably about 400 different items, um, lots of different things, dolls and figures and pictures and books and you name it, I've got it. All right, your house is on fire, Aaron. Just what? About. No, not right now, obviously. <laughs> how, how, can I, how, can, how can I smell it from here? But um, you're, you're leaving now. What bit of Wonder Woman memorabilia do you bring out of the house with you? Uh, well, let's see. I have a watch and a ring, and on those very special occasions, maybe some Wonder Woman underwear. Some, some Wonder Woman what? Underoos. What are they? It's a brand of uh, children's underwear. <laughs> <laughs> They're a little snug. Okay. <laughs> I'm not asking. <laughs> um, okay, well listen, listen, you might want to twirl some underoos around your head now. Because, <laughs> Aaron, very excitingly, I'm not alone. Uh, well, I can hear some laughing back there. It sounds like you're at some kind of party. Yeah, well, well actually, actually, to be honest with you, Aaron, we're, it's a television show. There's an audience here. And oh. sitting beside me on a, on a rather tacky chair uh. is none other than Linda Carter, Aaron. Oh, you're kidding me. I'm so not. Say hello to Linda. Hi, hello, Aaron. Linda. Hello, well, hello, Aaron. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine, thanks. I'm oh, sitting my... here with this absolutely zany... <laughs> Great fellow, uh, Graham Norton. <laughs> We're in London. Oh my gosh! Yes. And uh, I, I, we've, we've just been looking at your internet site uh, on the air here in London, and we're taping the show. And uh, he called you. Well, forget about the underroof comment then. <laughs> Well, it's quite an honor to meet you. It's great to meet you, too. And I, I think you've done very well with this fellow here. He's, well, thank uh... you. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I think if I were you, I would have hung up by now. <laughs> <laughs> no, Aaron, it's loving it. You're here. Listen, Aaron, we, we've got to go. You must fly. Hop in an invisible plane. Um, <laughs> all right. But, listen, good luck with it all. Well, thank you very much. All right. And we look forward to seeing... Put, put up a color picture. We want a color picture of you. Well, I shall get one right out. All right. Thanks, Aaron. Bye, Aaron. Certainly. Bye, Linda. Bye. Bye, Aaron. Bye. Oh, that was a nice one. I would have hung up on you. I don't know about it. I don't think he's that busy in Oklahoma, do you? <laughs> but just before we go, just before we go, that's Aaron. But I've saved, I've saved it. I found it about two weeks ago. And this is the best Wonder Woman dressing up thing ever. And I've saved it specially for you. It's... Doggy Wonder Woman! Oh. Look at Doggy Wonder Woman! It is so cute! Isn't that lovely? But here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing we sent away for Wonder Woman outfit, and here now, to model it, if you look at here is Hetty. She is Wonder Woman. Oh. <laughs> That's her cutest thing. It is just so weird because I loved the Golden Girl so much. It was just yes, so weird. Yes. You're here and right there. <laughs> and is it true that Estelle Getty, who played your mother, that she was younger than you? I maybe a couple of months. Yeah. The th Betty and Estelle and I are about the same age. Rue is about ten years younger. And I found this this picture, and it is sort of oh, there's one of Estelle. Um, being your mother. Oh, God. Oh, but now, is this, is this Estelle? Is that Estelle at the end? 
Yes, let me see that. No, isn't it, isn't it mad? Where the hell? Wh no. Why are they giving you a hubcap? As a prize. What is that? I, oh, they're all female impersonators. No. Are they really not you? Well, I don't know. Let me Actually, see. Actually, it, it doesn't look very like you. That's not me. <laughs> no, wait. No, it is me. It is us. <laughs> That's us. No, feeling. But I warned you. I warned you when I arrived. I would, you know, the long trip and everything. And, uh, <laughs> Cram very lovingly took us out to dinner. I said, I know I look, I look terrible, but let me get a good night's sleep and I'll end up looking exactly like Danny LaRue. <laughs> Where did you find that? I don't know. I have no idea. Would you destroy it? OK, fair enough. <laughs> go on, go on. History, 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 history. Thank you. It's never right. Where are your shoes? Oh, no, they're in makeup. I was afraid of walking down the stairs. Oh, fair enough. This is very casual. So she said, take them off. Yeah. Are you familiar with the work of Sandy Shaw? <laughs> Sit yourself there. Thank you. You, you casual creature. Yeah, no. You look fantastic. Thank you, my darling. No, because you described this like you were going to be in a clown's outfit. No, 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 no. <laughs> no, I've, I've been told the show is very tasteless. <laughs> So I, say, oh, no. I say that lovingly. <laughs> and the, the glasses and the hats, they weren't at the beginning. They, they came along as time went on. As time, yeah. You know, when you become a professional outfit, you need sort of yes. the accoutrements of... You start going to sunny places. You have money. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, we have a whole committee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but there's some, but yeah. once, but the, the sunglasses, you didn't wear sunglasses. And then when you found them, you were like, I love sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever take them off? <laughs> you know the big eye uh, I got earlier? You know the yeah, one when the I did the whole thing, the heart thing? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh. This is, this is a good place to oh, explain no. to oh. people. Is there something terrible wrong with you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it fatal? <laughs> A lot of people might make a lot of people happy. No, I, I'm, I, I have glaucoma for uh, uh, the last 20 years. OK. Can I tell you, it didn't get a great R, did it? People <laughs> <laughs> yeah. were like, oh, that's where I put sunglasses. No, but seriously, Graham, you have no idea how this has messed with my life. And, you know, the thing about glaucoma is, you know, I have per perfect 20-20 vision, so I would go to do these eye tests, and people said, but you, I, I said, I don't really need one, because I've got perfect, I could read the bottom line, and they said, ooh, that's one of the signs of a, well, you wouldn't have it. Have you ever had sort of strange visions and, you know, steam coming into the room and, you know, rings around lights? I went, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> and they said, and it's not from anything yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, exotic. <laughs> You know, you. there's yeah. no... I just think they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> and I think Bono looks cool in them. <laughs> so, thank do you, you, do you, Bob. Do you have just big boxes and boxes and boxes of sunglasses at home? Uh, people give you them, as I think you Well, I do know. have a lot of them. Oh, you do? I, yes, I have a lot. Because I just thought maybe the other band members would like to try sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> these ones, these ones, who would look... <laughs> I think these would look good on Larry. Tr Larry, try those on. I think they... Look, they match your outfit and everything. These are quite clever, these sunglasses. No, no, put it down, put it down. Oh, hey. Hey. Looking good. I'm liking it. It's good for you. They've got guitars on them. They've got guitars on them. Very good. Yeah, I think this is a bit of Dave Mesner, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> These are quite cool for the edge. Look, they light oh, up. Yes, oh, oh, yes. And because cool. you're Bono in the band, they're getting <laughs> dressed up. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one. That's it. <laughs> You know, like a fly. That's <laughs> <laughs> great. I love you, these. You genuinely like them, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Actually, I can see. I wouldn't mind doing a, a glass swap with with Bob for a second. Thank you. Oh. It's about time. Just to see. I, th I hope you'd. I thought you'd. Oh, we can see your eyes for one second. Thank you. <sighs> Look away! They're burning! They're burning! <laughs> Thoughtful. Cleverer. 
do. See, once now you have this information, you're never going to be able to get it out of your head. You're just going to say, there's poor old blind Bonner. Oh. <laughs> Would you not help Bonner onto the stage? And there you are, after giving him a kicking on Christmas. <laughs> 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 I have good yeah. treatment Lovely. and I'm going to be fine. But just getting... I, I say you have a new album. I have a new album. Uh, you do? Is, yes. Now, I apologise. I sat on it earlier and it's a bit broken. <laughs> uh, if, if you buy it, it doesn't come like this. Uh, you, you sat on Liza's face? Yes, I did. Oh, my <laughs> Can't you tell from her expression? <laughs> <laughs> Liza, I, I have to apologise, Liza. You come over to this country and you get treated like that. Graham, Graham yeah. sells he's out of his garage. <laughs> what about the psychic? She sounds good. Do you like the idea of the I psychic? I like the psychic idea. Our guest wants psychic. Oh, look, people are there. Yes, we are in the back. All right. Here goes Graham. Oh, hang on. Here we go. Come on. She's so lovely. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is not. <laughs> Please check the number and try your call again. Who knew that Fran wouldn't be able to pay a bill? <laughs> <laughs> this is, I think I've got the right number here. But she doesn't know you're going to ring at all. But she'll know we're calling. Uh... Okay. Okay, let me go another room. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> She's going into the bedroom, I think, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> that must be where our keyboards are. Okay. Oh hi Fran, where are you now? Uh, now I'm in my music room. Alright, I thought you said bedroom, Fran, I was just going <laughs> 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 So now, Fran, Fran, oh, uh, this is the, the last in our series, and we just we come back to you, uh, just because, you know, we, we'd like, you know, we'd li like a reading. Now, I'm here with a very famous British actor, Richard Wilson. Now, to, uh -huh. gi to give him a bit of a reading, do you need to hear some of his voice? Yeah. Okay, uh, just say hello, Fran. Hello, Fran, how are you? It's very, very, very nice to meet you. Oh, thank you. Is that enough? Uh -huh. Okay, well, if you could, if you could have that now uh, in your own inimitable musical style, Fran, We'd be thrilled. Okay. Thank you very much. Well, it looks as though I can see a lot of success for you. Oh, oh, yeah. And I can see a lot of popularity, too. Oh, yeah. And a lot of money coming in. <laughs> and a big trip. Oh, well. And a lot of hot loving. <laughs> Thank you very much, Brian. Take care. Yeah. Bye. family, uh, you play a game called shoe golf. Oh, <laughs> yes, yes. Actually, my husband invented it because his father worked for a shoe company, and he'd bring home shoes for them to test as they walked to school. And they he and his brothers uh, invented a game called shoe golf. And how does it work? Uh, you, set a, you set a goal, like... Like that goal well, right I just there. said. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that's how this works. That's very good. <laughs> That's very difficult. And then you hard? flip your shoe off to try to hit the goal. So it's... Oh, OK. The, the, the shoe is quite crucial. Yours would be much better than mine. OK, shall I try with mine? Try. You, you have to get it loose. OK. Well, yeah, the, the okay. tie-up shoe. Yeah, well, that's good. That's okay. good. So you I'm trying... I'm aiming for that thing. You want to hit, you want it well. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, very good. Do you want to go... You, oh, you've, got, you've, got you shoes, you've got shoes in there. I have all these yep. pads in these shoes. Let me oh. try, but these are padded. They just put them in because they were loose. Okay. You at least should get it in the round part. All that right. Jeez, it was my first go. <laughs> okay, let me see. Oh, God. Oh! Oh, no. That would be in the rough. Okay. okay. 
Alice in the rough. Oh, I'm in a Alan, shoe bunker. Alice and I have a go. You, you have a go. My pads, go have a go. Glenn, you've got let to me, come to me. Northampton. Now, can We'd I love say, this in they're not odor eaters. <laughs> They were just slightly big and they're padded. <laughs> I should try it without the pads. <laughs> okay, okay, go, go. Let me try it. Without That's good. Yes. Yes. Oh! Yes. I think I found I, this I, I, I think we've discovered a competitive person. <laughs> <laughs> Not letting it go. Oh! I can't even have a field day over there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a joke. I love Heather. I love her. <laughs> She'd be scrabbling around. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, she must be the only people who shoplift outside the shop. <laughs> there was a security, Heather's outside. <laughs> Matthew Fox, star of one of the best, uh, yes, 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 star of one of the best TV shows of all time, the brilliant uh, Lost. Uh, everyone loves Lost, and here's Matthew at the start of the very first series. There he is. Thank you for flying easy, Jess. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> your bag is home mm, there. Uh, <laughs> now, after that plane crash, the whole cast was stranded on a desert island. Oh, there they all are, thinking, who are we going to eat first? Found him! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lost. Lost ran for 121 episodes. And uh, if anyone here hasn't uh, seen it, I suppose I'll just quickly explain the plot to you. Um, what happens is there's a, a plane crash and they all get stranded. Well, that's what it seems like. But uh, in reality, what happened is it wasn't actually a plane crash. <laughs> There's the hatch to what they initially believed to be a spaceship, but it turns out that that is... <laughs> and then there's cheese and an invisible polar bear, identical twins at a time traveling island. So, what they do then. That's right. <laughs> and then basically, they're all dead. Join me with Hollywood Hawk Drop, Chris Pine, the actual siren Kim Cattrall, one of the hottest actors around, Benedict Cumberbatch, and flying the flag for Britain, Eurovision hopeful Bonnie Tyler. Woohoo! Friday at 10.35 on BBC One and BBC One HD. That's that. Okay. <laughs> so, can you try that? Oh, God. Okay. What, at that speed? No, 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 no. That okay. was just upbeat. Okay, okay, okay. Right, okay. Right, so right. you sit in there. You sit in there. Right. Get on. Get on. Okay. 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 <sighs> OK, can so you read this, that? This is important. Can you read that? Lean forwards. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> okay. OK, so... In, in a sort of sinister way. OK. As soon as you like. Yeah. <laughs> Join me with Hollywood heartthrob Chris Pine, theatrical son Kim Cattrall, the hottest chat show host in the world, Graham Norton, and flying the frag for Britain, Eurovision hopeful Bonnie Tyler. Woohoo. <laughs> Uh, and, 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 uh, and the last bit as well? Oh, go on, go on. Friday, 10.35, BBC One and BBC HD. <laughs> you make it look so easy! Do the music. Do the music. Do the music. Oh, stay there. Okay. I'm enjoying this. Introduce yeah. Buddy Tyler. Right. Yeah. It's time for the music. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever. I don't know, okay. just read it out loud. Okay. <laughs> Get the music on. Right, it's time for the music now. The singer has had a number one, has had number one albums on both sides of the Atlantic, has sold over 20 million records, and now has set her sights on Eurovision Song Contest triumphing. That's not even that I'm making it up, I told you. <laughs> Singing the UK's entry for Malmo Believe in Me, please welcome Bonnie Tyler! And actually, normally, sometimes what we do is we sort of like, Pretend that we're just calling people, you know, to the... Are you going to phone him? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 But apparently, I haven't spoken to him myself, but I'm told he's almost evangelical about the foot pumping. <laughs> he knows it's a TV show. He wants to tell us why it's so great. <laughs> and we want to know, don't we? <laughs> so, here we go. Uh... Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> it is. I just. You know, most perversions you're kind of on. No, I said perversion. It's not that. It's just an interest. But, uh, <laughs> but most of them you can sort of understand. I so can't understand this. Hello? Yes? C could I speak to Jim, please? Sure. May I tell Miss Collie? Graham Norton. <laughs> He's got a little pedal under the desk. <laughs> okay. okay. Hello? I, pay I just paid Jim, so you can, can you hang on a second? All the time in the world. Uh <laughs> I know. Are you okay there? You're fine. I can't believe some old pedal pushing curve <laughs> is keeping us waiting. <laughs> Ooh, do you have another joke about blowjobs? You, tell us? <laughs> you are well, naughty. Oh, no, they're very funny jokes. You tell them very well. Hello. Oh, oh. Is that you, Jim? Yes, it is. It's Jim! Serious teacher. Jim, 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 we're so happy to talk to you. We saw we saw your website and I found it well sort of intriguing to be honest. I, I don't quite understand it. I mean, what how how exactly does it work with the you, are you excited pushing the pedal? <laughs> uh, that's a lot of it. Um watching other guys do it as well. Um, <laughs> So watching people accelerate or or break gives gives you pleasure. Oh, um, definitely. Okay. And now, because pressing pedals does excite you, I mean, does it make driving very difficult for you? Um, it certainly makes it fun. I have to say, I don't drive myself, but maybe I should. Um, I, I have got slightly aroused on a bus, but I think that was just the vibration. I don't know. <laughs> but now, uh, the, the thing is, the site that we found your site on, right now, was um, a Golden Girl site. Right. Yeah. So, d do, you, do you still watch the Golden Girls? Um, I watch it almost nightly. Do you? Yes. Because, this is the... I'm sitting beside B. Arthur. Oh, for real. <laughs> Is he pedaling very fast now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> B, B was just asking if that was making you pedal very fast now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so, uh, but we're just, we're just intrigued, because I've never heard of this before. And it just, uh, but you sound like, quite, you sound very nice. Like your average pedal push. No. <laughs> Um, well, well, listen, um, good luck to you with your, with your pedal pumping. Do you want to say <laughs> good, goodbye to B? Uh, yes, I would. B, I wish you the best of luck. And, Thank um, you. Good talking to you. Thank you very much. Oh, Thank you. That's very sweet. Keep very pushing sweet. those pedals. <laughs> <laughs>